Hemoptysis is the spitting of blood that originates in the lungs or bronchial tubes. Irrespective of the amount is an alarming sign and patients nearly always seek medical advice. A proper history should be taken that is true hemoptysis and not hematemesis or nose bleeding. In mild hemoptysis, there is a small amount of blood or sputum streaked with blood disappears on its own. Massive hemoptysis is when there is so much blood that interrupts breathing. There are many underlying disorders that can cause hemoptysis, ranging from infection to lung disease to trauma and heart problems. First, bronchitis. Bronchitis is an inflammation and swelling of the bronchi. It is common cause of hemoptysis that results from recurrent coughing that irritates and eventually breaks down the mucosal lining of the airways. The hemoptysis is usually mild and often associated with a purulent sputum, which is thick, opaque, yellowish-white discharge, low-grade fever, and occasionally wheezing. A chest x-ray is usually normal. The patient is usually prescribed cough suppressants and antibiotics. Second, tuberculosis and other mycobacterial infections a mycobacterium is a type of bacteria that causes a variety of infections, including tuberculosis. A mycobacterial infection can destroy pulmonary tissue, usually by forming cavities in the airway walls. The hemoptysis that results is usually mild to moderate and may be associated with other symptoms, including unexplained weight loss, cough, purulent sputum, thick, opaque, yellowish-white discharge, and a history of mycobacterial exposure. A chest x-ray usually shows signs of infection, including a visible cavity, and the mycobacterium should be microscopically visible in the patient's sputum. Third, bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis is a chronic dilation and consequent infection of bronchioles and bronchi that results from obstruction in the bronchi. The dilation results from damage to the surrounding supportive tissue and is usually a result of infection or fibrosis. It may be associated with copious amount of sputum, clubbing of the fingers. Fourth, lung cancer. Bronchogenic carcinoma is cancer that originates in the lining of bronchi. About 90% of lung cancers are bronchogenic. Most cases of bronchogenic carcinoma occur in smokers. If the disease is advanced, patients may experience uncountable weight loss and various other common symptoms of lung cancer. A chest x-ray can reveal the location of the neoplasm. Fifth, pneumonia. Pneumonia is a lung infection caused by a variety of pathogens. As the lung tissue tries to protect itself, the lungs fill with liquid and pus. In addition to hemoptysis, other symptoms include a high fever, cough, and chest pain. Sixth, mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is narrowing of the mitral valve, can lead to very mild hemoptysis, which is pink, frothy sputum with mild traces of blood. Other symptoms associated with it include orthopnea, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea. About history, first color and consistency of the blood, which is usually bright red and frothy, and it is different from hematemesis that usually shows brown or black blood. Specifically, if it is purulent sputum mixed with blood, more likely to be an underlying pulmonary infection. If without pus, this probably tuberculosis or cancer. Second, associated symptoms, which is usually respiratory symptoms, such as a cough and others, which is related to the causes. And this is different from hematemesis, which is associated with nausea or vomiting. 
The important question involves the patient's history of smoking and other cancer-related risk factors. Because bronchitis, tuberculosis, and bronchiectasis are some of the most common causes of hemoptysis, these are usually the first causes that should be excluded. If the hemoptysis is mild, it is an indication of chronic bronchitis, and if it's massive, it is an indication of tuberculosis or bronchiectasis. Diagnostic testing is laboratory tests, which is a variety of laboratory tests may be done to help in the diagnosis. They usually involve sputum, blood, and urine. The other diagnostic tools is X-ray and CT scan. Treatment for hemoptysis depends on the cause and the quantity of blood. Infrequent mild hemoptysis usually doesn't require specific immediate treatment, but it should always be thoroughly investigated in case the underlying disorder is life-threatening. Massive hemoptysis is a medical emergency.